Hi everybody and welcome back to another one of my Daisy console beginner's guide to server modding and in this one we're going to look at something called server idle mode which is really important especially when you first start off modding and perhaps you're you're modding on a on a Nitrado server where you haven't got that many people on it maybe you're the only one maybe it's like a almost like a test server where actually you don't want many people to come onto it and the problem you'll find you have is you'll make changes to your server and you'll go in and test it and you'll be wandering around and, and things won't have changed. You know, maybe you've changed it so that everything spawns in pristine and you'll be wandering around Cherno and there'll still be um, damaged stuff and worn clothes everywhere. Now the reason for this, or one of the reasons for this, is the fact that when the last person logs off your server, which could well just be you, the server shuts down. And so that normal cycle of loot disappearing and reappearing and disappearing and reappearing which normally happens when people are on the server stops so any changes you've made won't come into effect but we can change this with a file called the globals.xml which does quite a lot of other things but the thing we're interested in is the little flag called idle mode countdown and what you can do is you can turn this on and you can set a figure say I don't know 10 minutes or an hour so that when the last person leaves the server the server keeps working as if people are on it you know spawning things in despawning things um, for an hour and so that means that your changes can then take effect um, I mean one of the reasons why they introduced this I guess is for environmental and power reasons because the server that's not doing anything is using less power also probably <laughs> so that in server farms where you have lots of servers you know shared servers on the same machines um, it's probably so that you get a better performance at, at the servers that aren't um, that, that, that don't have anybody that have people on them rather than giving resources to the servers that do so let's look at how you do this so what you want to do is you want to fire up your nitrido interface you want to go to the web interface for the particular server you want to play around with. You want to go into the file browser and then you'll want to go into the missions folder, uh, PS missions for PlayStation XB missions. Now these this does work on obviously PC as well. PC you've got to dig down a bit to get to the missions folder. Then go into the map that your server is. So Chernerus Plus for Chernerus. If it's uh, Livonia, it'll say Enoch. So you go into that particular one. And then we want to go into the DB directory here. And then we want to go into the globals file. Now, we can actually just edit this on the fly if we want. Now, you should really stop your server before you do this. And you scroll down to that line there, line 14, idle mode countdown. Now, the first thing we want to do is we just want to turn it on. So we, so we change the 0 to a 1. Um, so that means this is now an active flag, an active variable, saying, yep, this, this is this is active. And then we want to make up a, a figure. Um, I think it's in, is it in seconds? Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, it's in seconds. I'll do my countdown. It's an integer, and it's in 60, so it's in seconds. So let's bring up our calculator and go, so 60 seconds. Let's say we wanted it for an hour, so 60 times 60, so 3,600 would be the figure we could go for so we go back here and we would change that to what was that again 3600 there we go and then we could uh, save that and then we would hit restart I'm not going to because I've got people on this server I think um, and that would mean that when the last person logged off the server would keep churning the loot, the central loot economy would keep churning that loot along, and so the changes you had put into effect would start to be put into effect. Just also bear in mind though that if you've got a busy server where you've got lots of people on it wandering around, idle mode countdown doesn't, doesn't really matter that much. But what happens on a busy server is that as people interact with loot, they extend its lifetime. So again, let's use the example of you've changed it so that everything should spawn in pristine but there's lots of people in Chernogorsk you know um, and they're, 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 they're new spawns keep going to Chernogorsk and they keep picking up and dropping some a, a worn pair of trousers every time they interact with that pair of trousers the lifetime of that pair of trousers so how long it should hang around before it disappears 
gets extended. And so that pair of trousers will never despawn and get changed into a, a respawn, uh, a, a pristine pair. So just, just bear that in mind. And when you're doing mods to do with changing things that spawn in, XML mods to change things that spawn in, you have to be patient and don't make snap decisions and snap assumptions that things aren't working. <laughs> um, because you know that, that often is isn't the case especially when you're trying to change the characteristics of some of the rarer items say like the weapons you know say maybe you've added try to add suppressor to the weapons in the cfg spawnable types um don't panic if it doesn't appear that you can't find them it could well be happening because testing you know quality assurance testing which is it which in effect is what you're doing when you do these changes and you go into server and, you, and you're looking around that's the hardest bit of all of this stuff doing the actual editing of the files isn't that difficult what takes the most time and is the most difficult thing is doing the testing afterwards to see if what you've done works that's why it's so important you know when you're doing these things that you're using something like notepad plus plus um, and then validating your XMLs or your JSONs afterwards, or just really being careful. You know, when you change things, really have a, take you know two or three looks at the syntax. You know how the words are written, with the opening and closing brackets. Have you done it right? Have you accidentally deleted a bracket or an equal sign or a quotation mark? Because they're the things that will stop your server working. And the thing about Daisy is, when a server stops working, it's not like it just completely stops working. You'll just find that. No zombies will spawn in, or no gear will be spawning in. You might not notice that for a while. Anyway, hopefully you've, hopefully you've found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.